everything you need to know about the Edgewonk trade sessions in this video. The trade sessions in Edgewonk are a great way to combine the powerful analytical tools in Edgewonk with more of the traditional diary functions that a lot of traders use when they keep a written trading journal. In your Edgewonk trading journal, you find the trade sessions under diary and then sessions. We recommend creating a new session periodically. For example, if you are an active day trader and you have multiple trades every day, we recommend creating a new session every day at the end of your trading day. Alternatively, you can also create a new session at the end of every trading week, at the end of every trading month, quarterly, or even just annually if you are a long-term trader. Let me show you how to create a new session. First, we click on the green add more button, then a new session will open up. First, we need to create a new period. Assuming we want to create a session for February, we select the first date and the last date. You already see that something has changed and the session here is updated. So for the period that we have selected here, Edgewonk pulls in your session data. You have taken 17 trades in total, nine winners, seven losses, one break even trade. You get your win rate, the total gain of your trades in percentage as well, your R multiple and the combined tilt meter. Next, you can use the session rating. How would you rate the session overall from a scale from one to five? And then we recommend setting up a session category. You can create your own session categories. One popular and helpful way to use the session category is to just use it based on your review interval. For example, if you're doing a review every week, then use a weekly session. But as we're doing a monthly session, we select the monthly option here. To create a new session category, you can do that under setting and then just go to sessions. And here you can create a new category. For example, let's assume we want to have a daily session. We type it in here. We add the section category and it's now here. And now when we go back to our session, it should appear here. You can see we have the daily session category as well now here. In this box, you can type in anything that you want regarding the session. You can describe the session. You can capture important lessons that you have learned. You can write down things that have stood out and you can use it like a regular written diary. Over time, you can build a very nice archive over your trading sessions and come back to this and review your progress. You can remind yourself of lessons and other important findings that you have written down in the past. You can also use the session category filter if you want to only see your monthly sessions at a glance. And then you will only see the monthly sessions that you have added until now. If you are creating a trading session and you have forgotten about the trades that you have taken and you want to remember yourself what was going on in that period, a very easy way to do that is to just click on the number here in the trade number. You will be automatically taken to the journal and your journal will automatically filter and only show you the trades for that period. So you can review those trades and remember and remind yourself what was going on in that period and then return to the sessions and complete the input and write down your notes, your findings and other important things that you want to capture for the future.